All right, it's cube week here on MTGO, so what better thing to do than to cube for standard spike this week? And wow, that, was, that fired pretty fast. All right, so one important thing I'm trying to do this time around is stay open early on and then go from there. So <clears throat> with this pack, wow, I actually like this pack a lot. Um, I really like Palancron, and then there's some of the more powerful cards over here. Uh, Sword is always good. Uh, a Planeswalker with only one mana symbol, so it's splashable. And then Moldrifter. Uh, those make up the best of the picks. Uh, so for staying open, we would have to abandon Palancron. That's pretty safe anyway. Um, Moldrifter, Garouk, and Sword are all reasonable picks for staying open. Um, these are definitely the more powerful ones. This one, this one lends us more to an aggro deck, so at this point it's pretty much preference between aggro or something else. Um, I think Sword of War and Peace is probably more powerful. And it, it does keep us open, so we're going to go with that. Wow. Well, I mean, the second pick, GTA, is not really a big deal. Um... There's a few other cards in this pack. Avenger's pretty good. Actually, this pack is kind of weak. Is Isamaru and Krultimatum are both re really good, but also very uh, specific in what they do. So, I mean, we're definitely picking Jite. No, no question. So we have two equipment. So we're going to be aggro of some kind. Could be any colors, though, at this point. Ravages of War... It's pretty tempting. Would uh, put us into white weenie. Uh, Land of War Elves would put us into green aggro. Um, huh, it's kind of hard to say. Like, we just passed Isamaru, so if we end up getting cut from white weenie, our deck is going to be pretty bad. Um, and if we pick the Land of War Elves, we might have a hope of tabling one of these green cards um, but Ravages of War is really powerful so we're gonna take that we don't have to be white wiener we could be a combination of things uh, Thalia is pretty good yeah definitely the safest pick for our current deck and we're probably not gonna take many more non-creatures this is pretty much the maximum well not the maximum, but I mean, we need creatures right now, and we need a lot of them. Ajani is another good pump spell, and the only thing we pick besides that is, I guess, Isolated Chapel. And Ajani, is, Ajani can be pretty powerful. I did just say we need more creatures, but there's nothing I can really do if there's no creatures in the pack. Yeah, I really just hope we don't get uh, shafted for white weenie cards, because uh, it's kind of kind of going to be pretty hard to make a deck if we do. Well, I guess we could just figure out what color is open for aggro, and then start going white X. Hmm. Regrowth and Gifts and Given, pretty late. And Mere Battlesphere, it's one of the better... Uh, fatties, because it's colorless artifact, uh, creates tokens. We're gonna take path. Still need more creatures. We'd really, like, really like to have a few tokens with the Johnny. I'm trying to think, there's definitely lingering souls, spectral procession, raise the alarm. I'm not sure if that's in here and gather the townsfolk. But we definitely take any of those. Battle Screech. I don't know if that's in here either, but that's a really sweet one. The original uh, Lingering Souls and Spectral Procession. It's actually also the original Squadron Hawk. Makes birds. Hmm, Tangle Wire is actually pretty good. Uh, so is Wasteland, though. Both of those would be good additions to our deck. 
Um, we are pretty heavy on non-creatures right now, though. I don't know if I would. I don't know if I want another one when I could just take a land and and just uh, free roll it. Yeah, I, I want to take the land. Ooh, Hokori is pretty good. It's another variation of uh, Armageddon, uh, but it's also a four drop. It's another creature when uh, I guess this is the only other creature we could take here and I don't really want to be into black right now so I guess we'll Cory course palancron tables nobody likes palancron but I'm a pretty big fan we can go infinite with sneak attack uh, Rari's wake heartbeat it's also just a good flying creature it's free four or five flying if you have seven lands. Um, nothing for us. Uh, I guess Hate Draft, Band of the Living. Oh, Mirror Entity. I actually kind of uh, forgot about that the first time through that pack. And Lenore Elves actually came back. That's weird. I mean, Slime and Jade Mage both went before this. I would probably pick Elf before I picked either of those, but that's just me, maybe. Maybe we can be green-white after all. <laughs> Necromancy and Pewter Dimp. <laughs> and Battle Sphere still? Well, I'm not going to let that guy have that too. Stifle's kind of weird. What is that even doing in the cube? I guess I have to have some hate for Storm. <laughs> that's kind of funny, but... I should probably not hide the Fire Blast. We could still end up red-white. But I think green-white is more likely. Could end up black-white also. It just depends on what happens. Alright. Ranger, white knight. Hmm. That's really all I want. Um, Ranger, we have no one drops right now. Well, we have this one, but um, and it's also a four drop, so I probably just have to pick White Knight. It's not a very good first pick, but we are kind of in a direction and we can't really change. So, and we do need creatures. Spectral Lynx is not half bad. And it's still not an exciting second pick, but I mean, we are White Weenie. There's nothing else for us. Yeah, there's really nothing. Um, so we might want to splash black to regenerate that. So maybe we could pick up some good black cards as well. Well, there's a couple of the black cards we could take, but uh, Rashad and Port is pretty good. In addition to the Wasteland and Hokori, it just goes really well with what the deck's trying to do. And I'm not really sure about the Splash yet. I would probably want to play in Maximum Planes, especially with the two of these. Armageddon. Uh, Mox Diamond would not be half bad. I can't, I don't think I can count on uh, Armageddon tabling. Let me count some of the cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I would take this one. Um, seven. Yeah, it's pretty much impossible for us to table. Almost impossible. I mean, it would probably just be a hate draft because this is the only deck that can really play it. So maybe I could count on that. This would allow me to have that free black source, uh, just uh, get better with the wrath effects. I mean the uh, Armageddon effects. Yeah, I'm gonna take the diamond, and there's like a small chance Armageddon tables. Eh, man. Nothing for us. 
at all. Uh, Taskmaster is horrible in our deck. Um, well, we could hate draft. Or we could maybe try to form a contingency plan. Koth? Uh, yeah, I need a contingency plan at this point. Um, Koth. It's definitely going to be Koth. So we're going to consider our, our chances for red white. Loam Lion, Still Moon, Caracas. Slayer Stronghold. It would, we're seeing a lot of reanimation going around. Um, somebody could have a pretty good reanimator deck. Um, yeah, definitely could. Although I'm really curious about that one, why they wouldn't pick that. Uh, Hellspark also is actually not bad for our red-white plan. Uh, Lone Lion puts us into green-white again. Still Moon is really good. Yeah, I'm going to pick Still Moon because it keeps us, uh, it's still good and it keeps us uh, from deciding which color we want. And Chaos, I guess, I'll take it. And there's some red cards and an Honor the Pure. Well, I thought the, I was pretty certain I was, somebody else was drafting White Weenie, but I guess I might have been wrong. So maybe we can still do it. Root Awakening and Sulfuric Vortex both table. I do not believe that's supposed to happen. We're going to hate draft this. That shouldn't happen. I, just, I see it happen all the time now, but I would gladly first pick Root Awakening if I'm drafting my usual deck. Uh, some good red cards and another reanimation card still in the pack. Um... Arc Trail I really like actually, but I'm I need creatures if I'm gonna be in a uh, red white, so I'm gonna pick the Berserker. Oh, Goblin Guide. Yep, looks like we're probably gonna be red white. Ooh, Armageddon did table and Siege Gang even tabled. Um Yep, definitely Armageddon. So let me get this figured out. Um, we're going to get rid of our green. Get rid of this guy. So being red-white, these lose a little bit of value, but we're going to make it work. And at this point, we need a boatload of creatures. Ah, that's funny. Well, Stronghold is not a very high pick. Not at all. Probably shouldn't be in here. <laughs> so we need one drops. We need a lot of creatures. Yeah, I can't even really afford to pick any burn spells. I just need creatures. Probably cutting honor the pure. Oh man. Killing me. I have to I have to pass Jace. Man, I was really hoping I would hoping I would never have to do that. <laughs> but here I am, stuck in this terrible aggro deck. Yeah, I'm picking Blade Splicer. I'm going to table Legionnaire. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Hmm. The only creature for me is eight and a half tails. Uh, Shining Shoal is not too bad, but I, st I just need creatures. So eight and a half tails, I think. Eh, I really don't like this card that much either. I mean, late game it's pretty good, but early game is just a two-two. 
it costs double white also. Land tax. There's, I mean, land tax isn't very good for, I mean, it's not bad, but I would definitely take any creature before I took land tax, but there's just none. And we do have some synergies. We have Mox Diamond, uh, Geddens. Ooh, Elite Vanguard. I've been waiting a long time for you. Silver Knight. And Flicker Wisp. Definitely a Silver Knight, I think. So do I have any synergies? Uh, a Stormbow Berserker, somewhat. Blaze Blaster. Uh, Planeswalkers. Um, yep, I want the Silver Knight, though. I mean, eh, this is probably Table. I just would rather have more two drops. Clifftop Retreat. I would actually love to have Increasing Devotion with Micaeus and Ajani. Um, yeah, I would not mind having that, but I, I'd need this fixing badly. And this could table... wait. Well, there'll be two cards left in the pack when I see it. Uh, one of them will probably be Corlash. The other one will probably be Nuthlippy. No, it's, it's possible we could see something different, but Devotion's probably not going to be in the pack. Keldon Champion. Not too bad. Actually, looking at our colors... 3, 6... We don't actually... Oh, no, we do need it, yeah. Because 3 of 3 lands here. And if we didn't play right, we wouldn't have enough creatures anyway. Well, not enough creatures or enough cards, so... Last pack of freshness. Um, we have another two drop, Windbrush Kites. Uh, Mauler, I'm not a big fan of this card. But we could use another three drop. Um, <clears throat> Windbrush Kites, how good is that for us? Uh, Blade Splicer combo. Um, now we're running out of time. I want to pick the Relic Warder. I, given more time, I might pick the Heights, but I just know we still need creatures, so. And there's that Legionnaire. Yeah, I, sh I, I should have known this guy was coming back, so I maybe should have picked Heights. Gone with the 16 creatures that I had. This is 26 cards, so we have more than enough cards. Actually, we could play maybe pretty low on lands. Um, no, we want to be we want to be a little heavy on lands actually. Um, I'm gonna hate draft. I think Wall of Reverence. That's a pain for us. Yeah, pretty easy. Good board it in. <clears throat> Um, Molten Rain, I would not mind having. Uh, probably not going to main deck it. Um, it's not good in every matchup and uh, very hard to cast. Okay. <laughs> um, well, Hero is much better than Baboons, but it also costs double red. It'll be our third double red card at four mana. Yeah. It's just so much better. That's fine. Yeah, Forge Shender Nuckleby. Forget now what the. Uh, I thought it would be Corlash. So somebody is on mono black. Okay, let's see what we have. A 
probably not going to make it that card. We have plenty of two drops. 19 creatures, yeah, we can cut a two drop. Our worst one is probably Torch Fiend. Actually, I mean, main deck artifact removal is actually perfectly fine in this format. It's kind of hard to say for sure. I mean, Pro Green will be relevant in at least one of our matches. Destroying an artifact actually might be relevant in more than one. So maybe we switch these. I mean, actually, either one could be relevant twice, so. And this one is actually better when it is relevant, so we're going to go with that. Um, Hellspark's not exactly a creature. Still pretty good, though. Mirror Entity is actually really good, but our deck it, in our deck it might not be at its best between all the wrath effects and the fact that we don't have any tokens and we already have a good amount of pump we have Jite, sword ajani that's uh, probably enough pumping oh yeah the honor of the pure is also right here how many white creatures do i have Three, four, five, six, seven. Well, I, ha I do have enough creatures, I think, but I'm still going to forego that. This is 27. Still too many. It's kind of a creature. I mean, this is not exactly a spell. Still too many. So, 17, kind of 18 creatures. Well, that's not a creature, so 17 creatures. Um, I could actually just board the Hokori. Um, it's not as good as uh, the Armageddon's are. And against aggressive, other aggressive decks, it's, uh, well, it's just as bad. Maybe actually a little better because we have Mox Diamond. Mm, that's a tough one. Also, possibly just playing all three of them is the best thing I could do. I think we're going to go cutting this. It's just not not good enough. Not a creature like we need it to be. It is, it's impossible for me to play mono white, right? I have six red cards. 19, 20, 21, 22. Barely, but it is. I, mean, I could splash for oh no I didn't count that one either so 21 yeah we're gonna go red white we I mean we have cliff top we have mox diamond we have land tax so 15 lands well 14 lands and mox diamond I would rather have 15 and mox diamond if I can especially with wasteland and Rashad and port yeah so 15 I have to get one more card um, do not want it to be a creature, so that's going to be actually pretty difficult. I can't cut a creature. Fire Blast is my only real burn spell, but I do have Champion, Legionnaire. I have Path as removal. Also turns on Land Tax. Uh, Jite as removal. Eh, I think I'm going to cut this, yeah. Yep, I'm going to. I don't like it a whole lot. I don't like cutting it a whole lot, but I really kind of have to. Can't cut any creatures, and then most of my non-creatures are pretty important to the game plans. Well, except for land tax, but I really do want to have land tax in this deck. A lot of synergies with it. <laughs> no, sw no swamp. So we've got three mountains. Yeah, this Goblin God is really awkward with uh, my four double white two drops. And also Port and Wasteland. <laughs> Very awkward. 
Um, we are going to make it a I think a mountain. This mana base is absolutely horrible. I have this guy too for pumping. Can I maybe cut one of these? I think I might have to. The mana base is just really that bad. Um, I would rather have the port. Uh, because not every deck is going to have non basics. Okay, so this is a deck. This is not terrible. Uh, it's not great either. Our one drops is, are very lacking. Two drops are overflowed. Mana base is horrible. But we do have a bunch of Armageddons. So we could just go like two drop, three drop Armageddon. Or like diamond, two drop, sword, Armageddon. Alright, let's run it. 